here's an Amaran 200D light, which unfortunately does not allow a D-tap battery to be plugged into it. So each time I want to plug the light in, it's always a mess of cords and wires to have to deal with to get to this item right here. So I need a system for it. Need one of these. So now if I want to find the cord to quickly plug it in and power the light, all I have to do And there you go. Hi everyone, welcome to Paldatech. Today we're talking about the Live View Highlight Alert feature on Fuji film cameras. This tool will help you to correct overexposure and get better detail in your images. I will be demonstrating today with the Fuji Film X-T4 camera, but these settings are similar on most other Fuji film cameras as well. Obviously, when you take photos, you want them to be correctly exposed. This means that you do not want dark areas of your image that are so black and dark that you can't see any detail. And likewise, you don't want any bright areas of your image that are completely overexposed and white. Because if you make these exposure mistakes, bad things can happen. Now, sometimes you can fix these mistakes in post-production, especially if you're shooting in raw format. Let me show you what I mean. So here, Giraguana is gonna take three photos. One correctly exposed, and now one underexposed, and finally one overexposed. Now, please note that the only change Giraguana made was to the shutter speed. All other settings, including ISO, are exactly the same. Let's look at these photos in Lightroom. Okay. Okay, I've got my three shots right here. The first one more or less has normal exposure, but look at the second one, underexposed, you see that? I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the exposure by five stops. And as you can see, it matches the other one perfectly. And you can even see the USB port on the side of the computer. Everything looks good, nothing's blown out. Now watch what happens when I try to repair an image that's underexposed. This time I'm gonna bring the exposure down by five stops, but look at this, it looks terrible. That detail is still gone. Here are the two images side by side, and you see right here, you cannot get that highlight detail back. Once you blow the highlights and go past the point of no return, you can't get the image data back in Lightroom. You can bring up the shadows, but you can't really bring down the highlights. Once you blow them, game over. So, because underexposing an image is actually more problematic and difficult to fix in post-production, if you can fix it at all, this is where you have the option of using the Live View Highlight Alert feature. And this is especially important if you're shooting JPEG images and not RAW files where you have even less ability to edit them in post-production. Now, with that in mind, there are two ways to enable Live View Highlight Alert. However, before we do that, there are a couple of settings that we need to verify on the camera first. Under screen setup, you want to make sure that preview exposure white balance in manual mode is turned on, just like that. Next, you want to make sure that natural live view is turned off. The reason for this is that when you use the live view highlight feature, it will be examining as closely as possible what the finished JPEG from the camera will look like. Remember that different film simulations react to exposure differently, so make sure that you keep natural live view turned off. Now that that's out of the way, let's discuss the two ways that you can enable the Live View Highlight feature. First, you can have it always on and always enabled. To do that, go into your Screen Setup, DISP Custom Setting, and tick the box Live View Highlight Alert. Now look at that. Now anytime that you have an area of your image that is going to be underexposed to the point at which it will blow the highlights, it will flash black, you see that? So if I were taking this shot right now, as you see right here, I would want to lower my exposure to get rid of those highlight alerts. But also keep in mind that this all depends on the scene that you're shooting. Have a look here. You see that I still have two of them flashing, look at that. If I were to continue turning down the exposure to completely stop the highlights from blinking, the overall rest of the scene will be too dark. So you really need to judge each scene for yourself. The Live View Highlight Alert is not an end-all, be-all setting. It's there as a guide. In this case, because I know this is a light and this is a light, I can bring up my exposure a bit, and I know that I want to have the MacBook as the main subject in the photo, and I would probably stop right around here. I would not go here. The MacBook is starting to blow out the highlights. You see that? Now, the second way that 
that you can enable Live View Highlight Alert is to sort of set it as an on-demand feature using a custom button. What you need to do is assign a shortcut button or a swipe touchscreen gesture to enable the RGB histogram. Simply press and hold down the DISP back button and just pick something that you want to assign it to. In this case, I'm going to assign it to the swipe up gesture and choose histogram from the choices. Now, when I swipe up on the screen, I'm going to activate the RGB histogram, which also comes with the Live View Highlight Alert. By the way, I've got a full video on just the RGB histogram. Be sure to check that out if you haven't seen it already. Now, instead of having the Live View Highlight Alert, I don't know, alerting me all the time, I can just assign my shortcut button and turn it on when I need it. Now, everything I've said up until this point has to do with mainly shooting JPEG files. If you know that you're only gonna be shooting raw and you want the camera to show you a bit more accurate of a representation of where that live view highlight alert should appear as it pertains to raw files, then I would go back into screen setup and turn on natural live view. Now the camera is going to be basing its exposure warnings on the natural live view of the scene and not on the film simulation version of that live view of the scene. Does that make sense? In this example, I have natural live view turned off and you can see what highlights are being blown right here. If I turn natural live view on, have a look at that. Less parts of the image are being warned for being blown out because the camera is looking at the image not through the eyes of a JPEG, but more or less through the eyes of a RAW file. So it more closely matches what you get in post-production, the latitude that you get, it more closely matches that if you turn on natural live view. Lastly, your camera has a dynamic range setting that plays into this as well. I go over this in detail in another video and I urge you to check it out and I will leave a link to that video in the description down below. For today's purposes, if you're gonna be using live view highlight alert and shooting RAW files, I would keep the dynamic dynamic range setting set to 100%. Dynamic range is located in the IQ section of your menu. Again, this will cause the live view highlight alert to more closely match what you can expect out of a RAW file. Now, whatever you decide to do, it's generally best to err on the side of dark. If you see those little flashing live view highlight alert warnings, I would lower my exposure down until they all went away. Even if this means that you know you're gonna need to pull back and brighten some of those underexposed areas in your image in post-production. When in doubt, go darker. <laughs> Don't blow those highlights. Well, thank you so much for watching and we really hope you found the video helpful or at least entertaining. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. We are going to be signing off now, but have a wonderful weekend and we'll see you in a new video next week. Take care.